good morning myself chekla devi assistant professor in rogani college of engineering and technology today we are going to discuss about the subject cs8392 object oriented programming in object oriented programming in unit 5 we have the topics java event handling and mouse handling so in this lecture we are going to discuss about both java event handling and mouse handling So what is the outcome of learning this particular module is on successful completion of this module the student should be able to illustrate the concept of java event handling as well as the mouse event handling So first we are going to discuss about what is java event handling So changing the state of an object is called as an event So for example if you click a button or drag a mouse these are all called as events So the java awt.event package is used for supporting this event handling so what is event handling is changing the state of an object is called as event handling say example if you are clicking a button or dragging a mouse means that is called as event handling so which package supports java event handling is java.awt.event package and next these are all some of the events and their listeners say example in action event we are using action listener for mouse event we'll use mouse listener and mouse motion listener for mouse wheel events we'll use mouse wheel listener for key event we'll use key listener item event uses item listener text event uses text listener adjustment event uses adjustment listener window event uses window listener component event uh, uses component listener container event uses container listener and focus event uses focus listener and next we are going to discuss what are the steps perform for event handling so the following steps are required to perform the event handling first register the component with the listener and then register the methods and for registering the components with the listeners we have to use some classes and registration methods so in the next slide we are going to discuss what are all the registration methods so if you want to register a button means listener for a button means you have to use action listener that is you have to use the function add action listener and for menu items you have to use the same action listener you have to use the function as public void add add action listener of then the listener's object then for the text field you have to use action listener as well as the text listener the functions used are add action listener and add text listener for text area you have to use the text listener so the function used is add text listener and for the checkbox you have to use item listener so for adding the item listener you have to use add item listener and for choice box you have to use item listener the function used is add item listener for the list you can use action listener as well as the item listener for adding the action listener you have to use add action listener method and for adding the item you have to use add item listener method so this is an example program for an action listener so in this program what we are going to do is you are going to create a text field and you are going to create a button next you are going to implement the action listener in for that button you are going to use action listener inside the button so when you click the button what happens a welcome messages appear on the text field so this is the output of this program so how we can write the program means first you have to write a class name which extends the frame and which implements the action listener then you have to create the text field for creating the text field create the object for the text field so text field tf is equal to new text field of which is used to create an empty text field then after that by using set bounds function you are setting the boundary value for the text field and then you are going to create the button by using the button object so button b is equal to new button of within the quotes we have given click me which is a caption of that button and then you are going to add the listener for that component so how we can add the listener is what is the object of button button is b so b dot add action listener of this so for the current one we are setting the action listener then we have added the components that is the button as well as the text box then when it clicks this void action performed even this triggered so inside that particular method we have said that that is we have said the text is welcome so within the text field we have said the text is welcome 
so what is the output you get in this particular program is when you click the button you will get the text box field as field value is welcome so next we are going to discuss how we can handle the mouse event so java provides two listener interfaces for mouse one is mouse listener another one is mouse motion listener so the mouse listener is listens for an action such as when the mouse is pressed released or ended or exited or clicked so when we are using mouse motion listener the mouse motion listener is used when we are dragging or moving the mouse we are using mouse motion listener so what are the two listeners the mouse listeners as well as the mouse motion listener mouse listener is used for uh, pressing releasing entering and exiting or clicking and mouse motion listener is used when we are dragging the mouse or moving the mouse and here we are having some set of mouse events so first one is the method which is used inside mouse listener is mouse pressed mouse released mouse clicked mouse entered and mouse exited so when the mouse press is will be executed is it invoked when the mouse button has been pressed on the source component mouse released is invoked when the mouse button has been released on the source component the mouse clicked is invoked when the mouse button has been clicked or pressed or released on the source component and the mouse entered is invoked when the mouse entered into the source component and mouse exited is invoked when the mouse is exit from the source component so these are all under mouse listeners and next we are going to discuss two functions which is used inside the mouse motion listener that is mouse dragged and mouse moved mouse dragged function is invoked when the mouse button is moved within a button pressed and the mouse moved function is used or invoked when the mouse button is moved with the, without the button pressed so this is about the java event handling as a and mouse event handling thank you